All right, hey guys, we're coming back on board here. I'm not on board, I'm in Lisbon. Woo, 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 woo. Um, so, Lisbon. There's a big tree and the sea. <laughs> big tree in the So, I don't really know what I've got planned today. I've got nothing planned on. Um, you can always get on like the tour guides and you can go um, on the shuttle buses and it's like half an hour, 40 minutes into the town centre, which you can do. I was tempted to, but it's just too far, too far. Um, so I was like, nah, forget it, I'm just walk around. And it's not failed me so far, walking around and just create my own fun. Um, coming to Lisbon, I know it's um, somewhat nice place to be out of all the destinations though this I'm um, gonna be honest this is the one that I was probably least excited for and then the one that I liked the least was probably Les Palmas as it was just yeah it is what it is wasn't great wasn't terrible oh well and there's like there's tram tracks everywhere I don't even know what the rules are. Can you walk on tram tracks? Are you have like jaywalking these? I don't know. This is the thing, like, in UK, we can just walk anywhere in the road. Like, look left, look right, sort of thing. Yeah, you gotta look right, look left. And then, no. Yeah, in UK, it's look right, look left. And abroad, it's look left, look right. Anyways. Um, over the summer, when I used to go up to the Nordic states, like Denmark, Norway, um, Sweden, all that sort of stuff, I used to just rent an electric scooter or an electric bike and just go on the road. <laughs> it was hard, I'm not going to lie, because you're looking out for signs that don't exist in your own country. So, there is a lot of things that you could go, oh, can I actually do this? Am I going to talk? Somehow I managed to get away with it. I don't know how. Um, so it is very different coming to the rest of Europe from the UK. Um, CR7, love that. There's a bit of the whole pole police with the neons, scare them in the distance. Just they're shutting the road off. So I'm guessing they might have. Oh, that was an ambulance. There's a lot of pop up points. Lisa. Um, oh, they just drive a Renault. There's a Renault and a Skoda. Fair enough. So it is currently Boxing Day, so where, everything I show you might differ from different times of year. So I do have to put a statement out here that. My views and my opinions are just mine. Um, and they could potentially differ from person to person, um, place to place, depending on what you're into. I'm just wandering around just trying to find anything, and I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will find something about like. Um, but it is very, very nice. But there just wasn't going to be much to do. Like, Lanza was amazing um, on Christmas Eve because um, I knew I was docking into um, port with one of our sister ships um, and one of my close friends, she worked on that ship so me and her went for lunch together and hung out for the day. We didn't go particularly far, we stayed basically in the marina docks, but from the marina, the marina docks to um, my ship was about a 25 minute walk. Um, basically, like we were here, uh, she was over here, and we had to walk all the way around. It just wasn't bad, it was, it was lovely just to have a nice little walk. Um, I got on the shuttle on the way there and decided to walk on the way back. I tend to do that quite often where I just go on the shuttle one way and walk all the way back. Um, so that was lovely, you know. That Christmas Eve was probably my favourite day out of them all, um, by far. 
So, that was definitely my favorite. Then we had, um, the night prior we were in Tenerife. Tenerife was um, lovely. It was really, really, really pretty. Um, and I was really excited to go to Tenerife. Um, then we had the Palma the day before that, which was a green canary, can't remember. Um, Palmas was just really underwhelming. It was just a lot of construction and like tight town village, uh, town squares, and that was basically it. But you guys obviously know I talk about open plan a lot. I like my open plan spaces. This has quite a bit of open plan, so you know what? It gets a big thumbs up from me. <laughs> so I do, I do love a bit of open plan there. So we're gonna go and try some food if we can like get. I fancy like going to find like a crepe somewhere or something. But that's what I fancy. I fancy like find like a street food stand and get like a crepe. If I can even get one, I don't know. I could get one in Lanzarote, just like that. But um, me and my friend, me and her, we went and had um, pancakes with white chocolate melted over the top. A lot of it and um, kinder on, on top of that and let me tell you it was delicious but it was something else it was very very um, thick but it was lovely but I do intend to find somewhere where I can get a um, good meal obviously you can get meal you get like food fed on the ship and all that stuff but it is also nice to come out and try different cafes, different restaurants when you're abroad as well. So I could save a little bit of money, but you only live once. So, and then who knows, if I come back here, I might go, oh, this is a mean place. If I come back here in the future, I'll pop up here. Um, but myself personally, I don't think it's fair that I said that I wasn't a massive fan of Lisbon. Um, so I've not been five or six years, but I feel like even though I've not been for five or six years, the memory that I do have of it is just, just very underwhelming. But I'm sure now, as an adult, I can create my own fun and make my own memories. So we'll see what happens. But. I'll update you guys if there's anything else. If not, then I'm gonna sign everything off here. When I just broke on board. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.
breathe in. 